All right, well, it is time for season three. I am uh, right now currently about to set up a ladder stand. Uh, gonna kind of get, get moving quick. We found this tree. This is the one that it's gonna go in. We have, uh, we, we lost a lot of property around our club, so we've been pulling stands and feeders and stuff. I've got a feeder. I don't know if you'll see it good on here, but right there at the bottom of this hill, um, this is gonna be a really good area in the woods. We're about six, 700 yards away from where Taylor killed her biggest buck last year. The only deer that we've taken, well, the only buck that we've taken off this place, so. Well, right now, I cannot get the stand up, so I'm gonna have to go home before I do that. I may, in fact, go set up all the cameras in the corn and come back and hang the stand last, but. Well, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I started all this about three hours ago. I should have been done with the whole thing by now, but the, between this deer stand, but this, I don't buy batteries anymore because I use battery boxes for these cameras. And right now, right this minute, um, I don't have any battery boxes that are working. So I'm taking one apart and adding parts to another one. Uh, this is, it's just those battery cables and, oh man, I'm not having a good time. I've hated every minute of this so far. So I'm really hoping to have this camera up. I can probably hang this stand another day if I can just get this camera up and see some deer eating in here. So stay tuned. All right, stand is up. It's not ideal, but it's in a good spot. I'm happy with it. I have a, I gotta go to the lease, fill up those feeders, go to my Zell, fill up that feeder, and then I gotta bring a battery box from the lease here. Um, so I still got a ways to go, but I, I don't wanna come back tomorrow. Well, since I pulled up here, I got a storm coming. Uh, probably don't have long anyway, but I uh, got a lot of stuff that happened here in the off season. Uh, during baseball season, we had a tornado come through in March and uh, it picked up fat boy blind I had here and threw it. It was probably 12, 15 feet from where it was sitting and uh, I tore it, piece, tore it uh, to pieces. And uh, luckily somebody had, had recently given up their lease Walker called me, Walker Moore with Fat Boy Blinds called me and said, hey, I got one just like yours, just two feet taller. And uh, he, he, the guy had to get it. So we basically, we're gonna try to fix that, the other one, and we put this one back up here. So we're still rolling here with no problems. We got some new blinds from a new company that we're gonna try out that we're gonna get in our bow spot here. But first things first, we wanna really make sure that we get this camera rolling, get this corn in, the, in this feeder and uh, this is my favorite place. This is where we're excited to see what's going on. Um, you know, we killed four bucks here last year. I killed two, Charlie killed two, and then Taylor killed one in Reynolds as well. So let's, uh, let's get this camera going. All right, that was a 15 minute stop. Well, <clears throat> I'm not real happy about it, but I am back um, at this again today. Uh, yesterday, I couldn't get everything done. Nothing, nothing worked with me, and I didn't have any uh, lithium batteries, so I went to get some today. Um, man, I'm itching everywhere. I done got ate up by mosquitoes in here yesterday. Spent so much time in here, and I had a dang... Lone Star tick on me that bit me. And uh, so I'm hoping that I don't get any of those diseases or whatever you'd call them from, from that. But plan today is just to get, <clears throat> I got set up four cameras yesterday, two of them uh, were working, two of them didn't have any batteries in them. So I'm putting batteries in this one. Hopefully everything works down here. I'm sure the signal ain't gonna be great um, down here in this swamp, but I'm hoping that I can get some signal so that I can get this going. All right, so I'm back out at the back plot today. Yesterday, we did come through. We filled this feeder up. Got our double ladder right over there. Um, like this spot a lot, man. I'm a big fan of this spot. So hopefully, uh, this is where it's gonna go over here. This little setup we got right here going on. And then we will, uh, we'll, we'll see what shows up. 
All right, I'm back at it again. Um, I think July 1st is when I first came out and I got all my got a new spot set up in Reynolds in the swamp. I filled my I filled three of my main feeders that I had going to at the least one at my Zell. I basically filled those up and then went out of town for a few weeks back and forth and we have just been watching the bucks. It's, the feeders lasted for about a month it looks like. It's August the 6th so I'm gonna get in here and fill those today. Just went and got my corn, put in my, my tubs. But um, that last time I, got, I wound up getting bit by a Lone Star tick um, that July the first day that I came out and wound up having to get on an antibiotic to make sure that I didn't get either one of those uh, sure there's others but either one of those you know diseases or allergies that that come with that so i'm hoping today that i don't get any ticks on me uh we'll make sure to make to to check them out make sure i don't get them but i'm going in here to the um to the swamp i'm gonna fill this feeder get this camera back going it went dead a couple days ago and then i'm going to go to the lease and my zell and get those things done today Um, I have, I'll kind of walk you through. I've got that feeder, that feeder back full. Camera's right there. This is where my blind was last year. And as you can see, um, this one kept its color, but the wind storms that we had came, that came through kind of destroyed it. That's all right because I normally have to change those out anyway each year in my main spots but i'm gonna today i'm gonna show you the new one um that's going here i partnered with a company last year a company called tidewe and they um they make um a whole bunch of different stuff but for me mainly I, i've got some boots from them for taylor and for me and then i've also got a blind and it's a 270 degree see-through blind. Um, here's a look at the what it looks like in the box. And uh, gosh, dude, gosh, Almighty. So this is the view from inside. I can see really well. I'll have a little hole there for videoing. I'll have a little hole here for shooting and everything else is gonna be closed all the time. You just pull this down a little and now I got something to shoot out of. I really like these right here, these sliders. I've seen them in some other blinds I've, I've had before. Um, but looks like this could be exactly what uh, exactly what I was looking for um, you know a lot of times you hear people talking about man I love doing the work almost as much as I love hunting and killing and that's a dang lie man I'm telling you there ain't no way that somebody likes coming out in July and August and sweating to death because you know half the things you try to do ain't gonna go as planned I'm done here I'm about to screw down the screw down the blind into this uh, platform right along in there and then I'm gonna go to the lease 
And once I go to the lease, I'm gonna fill those feeders, get those cameras going, and that's it. So I'm almost done. I'm ready to be done. I've had enough. Well, that's it for today. Um, it's two o'clock on the dot right now. I still got my four main cameras. Plan is tomorrow to go out and get one uh, set up at the cemetery. Actually, between the cemetery and the White House is a place in the woods where there's a creek. I think it's gonna be a nice little spot. I'm gonna try to set it up tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. Um, I am at the White House right now. This is a place where you'll where I've hunted a hunt a good bit. And what I'm doing is the White House and the cemetery are connected. And I marked a spot. I came through here on my bike, and I marked a spot in between them that's got a creek running through it and it's got an open spot where I'm gonna feed them at. So I'm going in there, I'm trying to clear my path to get in there and then I'm going to um, hang a stand, put a feeder up. I'm really hoping that I do this fast. I know that that's wishful thinking a lot of times, but I'm gonna see how it goes. All right, I'm done, except I didn't get my stand hung, but I did find a good tree for it. Let me show you that. So there's the tree right there. Gonna be way up there. The trail you come in on is right there, and then you turn around, and here is where we'll feed them. I really put it to them here. A lot of corn, a lot of forest. Got my new Moultrie Edge right here. I love these, man. They pick up any any cell tower, so if there's any signal to be had, it's gonna find it. But anyway, um, I think this spot's got great potential. Tell them we were trying to go hang that stand, wasn't we? We were going to try to hang that stand, and then this happened. Yep. So, looks like we're gonna be walking in there today, don't it, bud? Yeah. All right. So, it took me. We left for this adventure about 9:45. It is now 11:30. Uh, we blew out our trailer tire the first time we were gonna bring the beast and drive back here. The second time, I left my lineman's belt at home. We've got the four wheeler, um, Mr. Richie's four wheeler that it, that we use. And we are gonna, I'm gonna get the stand hung. We got all our stuff, get the stand hung, get the um, camera adjusted, get some different batteries in it. Then we're gonna put on these fourth era camera bases. And then I'm also gonna put those on at one of those on at the cemetery. So this really shouldn't take long, but those are a lot of times my famous last words anyway. So try to- It's always a maze. I think we got it. <laughs> You're not gonna chat with me? I have not shut up since I've been here. There you go. You would think these ladders would be so good, but they are not the best. This old climbing belt thing though. I ain't mad at it. All right, the stand in the tree, as long as I make sure we're connected, we are ready. It's connected. Sure we are. We got it. So, gonna stop by the cemetery and hook a fourth era camera base on that tree, and then we are done for the day. Can't believe I got that. Okay, today is done pretty much. I got two lock-ons with my bases in. I'll show you that base later but what it is is I put a base in every tree that I might film out of wanted you to see this this stand they say back in the day if you didn't want anybody to hunt your stand then you would put these steps like this and a hard to get into and I've just left them alone so it's very hard to get into but you get up there I got it's old it's a big 150 millennium so it's big but it's nice too, so I've killed, killed like two or three deer out of this stand, but 
I had my helper with me. We're done for the day. She's pretty unbothered by it all. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll go shopping later, I'm sure. But anyway, thankful to get it all done. And maybe this will end this episode or maybe not. I'm not sure yet, but I think this episode, this is August the 13th, and this episode's been going since July the 1st. So hopefully this may end it, but if not, I'll see you next time. Here I am. I'm at the lease. I'm at the L plot currently. I don't think I'm going to actually hang a stand here right now. I think I'm going to bring, I got another blind. This one is in good shape. It's leaning. I'm going to, I mean, you can see now, I'm, I'm going to see if I can get it back in the working condition today and if i can i'm probably going to leave it and i don't know if i'll paint it leave it faded or what but you know it's uh they're used to it it's been here since last year it kind of held up a little bit let's uh let's get this blind going and then i will go over to the back plot and get that done so anyway that looks like we're not going to have to do as much work as i thought so we just hope this pops out Okay, so I'm gonna get in this blind. I'm gonna look at it, see how it looks. Everything looks fine. If I pop this side out especially, let's pop this side. Oh, pop him on me. All right. No critters in here. All right, let's get in here and check everything out because there's really no need to mess with what works. And there's a couple of things I need to cut down, but right here, so I'm in this chair, you can pretty much see the whole plot um, and get a shot. The only thing is we have a couple of branches of that, which they keep me covered in here. Uh, I just need to cut a, a couple off, but I'm gonna leave this as is, man. This is a good spot. This is a this is uh, the L plot blind, so I'm excited about it. Um, there's killable deer here, man, and especially for Taylor to come with her bow. That would be a huge goal of mine this year would be to get her, to be able to get her a good buck with her bow. Um, and I think it's very possible. Um, I'm excited for that opportunity as well, but this place is eat up with deer. I'm gonna cut a couple of these branches. All right, so very, very, very good here so if you can see now there's a clear path from that window right there into the plot the blind is faded but like i said before the deer are used to it so i'm going to leave it alone these hawk prunes pruners right here whatever they are great excellent 10 out of 10 recommend but we're not hanging a stand we are going to head on over to the back plot by the way it's as good a time as any these hats right here i did a quick order of them uh, the first just to test it out I got some of these in this Realtree original and Realtree edge and then I got some various colors but stick with Realtree camo these sold out pretty fast um, just putting them on Instagram and I got some in Realtree timber Realtree edge and Realtree original and then I got some in that military green so if you want one send me a message comment on this video or uh, you know message me on Instagram I've got all that linked on these videos so and follow us on uh, Facebook. For well, really, Instagram is where most of it is. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, I'm not the best at it yet. I'm trying to get better at posting stuff. But let's move on over to the back plot and see what's going on over there. All right, here I am over here at the back plot, which is absolutely like they are killing this spot. And I'm not 100% in love with my stand here. So I may do some changing. I hope I don't have to. But a lot, you know, it, it, this is a great old school feeder. The winch makes it easy to feel. We got our Moultrie, right now it's a Delta steel right over there. I'm gonna get an edge for all these cause I love the edge, it's an uh, incredible camera. But anyway, right here, so we've got a double ladder and I'm gonna go up it today with my saw for the first time, I'm gonna get my lifeline in it. Um, it's not my favorite setup, it's a pretty skinny pine tree <clears throat> and it's pretty tight on top of them right here with them coming in, it's it's very tight.
All right, this could be the last uh, last little bit of preparation. I didn't video it yesterday, but I went to Mizell in the lease and just filled those feeders up real quick. I didn't do anything else. I just put corn in the feeders. That's all I'm doing today. I'm headed to the jungle, which is that uh, stand that I hung between the cemetery and the White House uh, with Taylor the other day. That's what we call the jungle and a lot of deer there so far. I'm aggravated today, man. I, doing all this and keeping all these spots up takes a lot of time which when you coach when you're having to coach football you don't really have a lot of time to do that so i'm pretty aggravated uh having to do this today but i gotta get it done we got two weeks from yesterday for opening day of both season and uh the plan right now is i'm 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 gonna hunt hook at my zell um hook's a buck you should be familiar with if you've watched before from last year so i'm gonna try to he, he's my number one he's not the biggest uh, I got probably two bucks bigger than him, but he's the one I want. That's just, he's a, he's probably the oldest, but he's definitely the one I want. Going to going to the jungle first, going to rentals, gonna get those done. And All right, I'm here at the White House right now. I brought my bike. You're gonna see a lot of this bike this year is a fission bike. It's, uh, it's a game changer, man. I've, I've ridden it around a little bit, setting spots up, but every time you come here to the jungle, you gotta have a way in. You can't drive a truck in there. You can't fit a Kubota in there. I can fit my Beast in there, you know, the smaller, cause it's just a smaller electric golf cart. But I got my bike today. I'm gonna see how much corn. I got corn in bags today, so it's gonna be a little easier to get in there. And uh, I'm gonna see how many trips I gotta take. If I can get two bags in to start with, I may only have to get, take two trips, hopefully. Um, but we'll see how this goes. Um, see how the bike goes. Today is not an exploration type day. Today is a, let me get here and get done. Matter of fact, Taylor bet me that I could not be done and home in two hours. I left at 144. So we'll see if I can win that bet. The beauty in it, tell you, it's, it's gonna change the bow hunting game for sure. This is great, man. I'm just killing the game today. Big time challenge. Can only get one bag, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna see. All right, I can only bring one bag at a time. Ooh, I better watch my snake. Oh, um, creek's got some water in it. I know that there were deer here just a few minutes ago, so let me get this done and. Uh, Put a bag on the ground and then I am going to get out of here. <laughs> All right, remember I left the house at 144. It is now 244 on the dot. I'm here, I'm in the swamp, stand up there, camera there. I'm about to swap this uh, Delta out for this Edge. I'm telling you, Edge is my favorite trail camera of all time so far. Um, so I'm gonna put it up here and uh, get fill this feeder, top this feeder off, and then get out of here. Well, I should be home literally a little over an hour after I left, man. This is, this is the kind of trips that, that are not so bad whenever I can get stuff done this fast, but we've got every feeder that we got going, L plot, back plot, Mizell, swamp, jungle, all are running right now. All have bucks on them, all have daylight bucks on them. So we are excited about bow season coming in. We got two weeks from yesterday, we got 13 days. So maybe this is the last uh, video before then, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm trying to just do one like preseason episode so I don't drag it out. So uh, anyway, got the spot set up, ready to rock and roll, thankful, excited, and got it done. All right, while I'm here and I got a little cushion, I'm up here in the stand. I'm gonna hang this base up here for my camera and then I'm gone. So hopefully this takes like two minutes and then we're gone. But man, what a spot up here. I love this spot. 
Um, got the base on, headed home. All right, it is Saturday morning, September 3rd. This is Labor Day weekend. This is everybody's uh, opening day of dove season. Got a lot of people going dove hunting today. I am going in here to my fat boy blind. My plan this morning is to try to lay eyes on Hook and to figure out um, where he's coming from. To see if it's possible to come in here next Saturday morning. I, m I may just wait on the evening anyway. Um, but uh, it's I'm getting in here about an hour and 15 minutes before daylight so i'm far enough away from them right here i can just walk in and i tried to load my bike in the truck this morning and the back tire fell off so i got some work to do at some point today but anyway um gonna get up in here kind of scope things out see what's happening you know i think we're gonna have a chance but we just have to got to do everything right and i, I want to figure it all out right now and, and see some things and um I'm wishing everybody luck. This video should come out before opening day. So if you watch this, get ready for opening day. I'm, I'm hoping that everybody has a great deer season. Um, I'm hoping that everybody uh, gets the buck they want. I'm hoping that everybody has fun, spends time with good people. And just have fun. Don't be judgmental of others. Let people enjoy their success. Stop being snobs about deer age and deer antlers. Just have fun, man. This, it's deer season. Everybody should get along doing this, man. Good luck, everybody.